Good evening folks, this is Darth Rabbit 7 coming to you today with another quick review. I'm really super stoked to have this and been looking forward to it and a lot of folks are getting it in, so now it's my turn. Thanks again to all those uh, who have joined the journey. Make sure to like, share, subscribe and all the good things and let's get this camera turned around and see what we got on the turntable today. Thanks again for watching. Tonight on the turntable we have none other than Transformers animated universe prowl and this guy looks to be like a like a comb combination of uh samurai prowl and regular animated prowl animated samurai prowl and animated prowl together here's a look at the side of the box love that that awesome looking mugshot looks more prowl from g1 or if you see the samurai head it's kind of got those thicker features and then there he is right there with his throwing star, his throwing stars from his wheels or his Evo Evolution. He converts in about 20 steps. And here's a look at the good man's bio. If you want to pause and scan here and pause and scan here. And hopefully this will help you find it in your market. It's not been inside of the U.S. stores just yet. It is shipping like crazy from every retailer. Well, let's crack this guy open and see what all the fuss is about. Here is Prowl's instructions. You get two little discs inside of the tissue paper this time around. Show you how to configure those. And get to bike mode in roughly the 20 steps that was talked about earlier. Can't wait to see if they actually do a sidecar or an exclusive with the sidecar in the future. And here is Prowl on card outside of his cardboard prison. Held in by the twine and some scratch paper. If you don't mess that up, you might be able to wipe with it and let's get them free. At least tonight, it looks like a little toilet paper roll. And a secret decoder ring? No, just a couple of uh, hubcaps. And lo and behold, here is Animated Prowl on the turntable looking spectacular. I really do believe this is what we was really wanting in 2008. Back in 2008, this is what we got. We had a super stylized version looking like the animation jumped right off of the TV screen in toy form. And boy, was this ever difficult to get this in this pose. And while it looked spectacular to what the show looked like, it didn't have a lot of good articulation. I even had to do a mod back of this to get it to bend the knees that far in order to make semi ninja stance and I will review it later but that's what we had to begin with and then he got upgraded to this brick of a figure uh, Master Mechalicato uh, version of Samurai Prowl that this whole armor is all attached to the sidecar as you can see there in the back and it is the biggest brick of the bunch. It has more clear blue plastic than the, the other one did. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, it's, it's a nice gesture and I think that this definitely needs to be in a, a souped up overhaul. So that's a good reason why we get this nicely updated new version that can bust a lot more better poses. It's not a brick and it still retains the armor in spots where other uh, ones had failed. And I'm just slowly going just to kind of show this off. And yes, he's holding the new animated uh, Prowl from Legacy Evo's throwing stars just to kind of look all billy and bad at the bone. Now these guys don't want to, they kind of semi-automorph compared to what the other ones used to back in the day. But then I am very clumsy at these things and always knock stuff over. And I finally figured out what was going on with this bad boy. You just gotta take it and twist it on each side and it does automorph pretty good. Just goofy old me. Oh well, there is that. So here's a quick look at the Masters of Metallicado all there together, every version I got on the turntable. I'm gonna slowly go around through here and show this off at all the angles, let you see how each differentiates. I like how this is much more simpler and more geo one stylized and but still retains elements of the two that come prior to it and it'd be really neat to see if a third party and or if hasbro does do a release 
that'll have a sidecar present and accounted for there. So even still, this guy's gonna keep toppling over because they don't have any heel spurs whatsoever. They're on a ball joint with that front flap with the feet. Uh, the knees articulate pretty much the same. It looks like it might even do so. Here we'll get into the articulation a little bit more there. It has a ball joint at the elbows, no wrist swivel. This has pain in hands, that doesn't have pain in hands. And I did some sticker work on the, the first one to make it look more show accurate, just like this one does here, versus that silver yuckiness. I just got to get another repro label and, and apply as needed, because that's what that is. That's on this animated prowl to begin with. And this head is way more limited with all the armor on because of the helmet and it's a skinnier head underneath as I can demonstrate right here. Boom, there it is. So that's him peeping out saying hi. And a little bit closer look here if it'll focus in on him, yeah. And I don't like how the crown on this one has light blue transparent lighting. Uh, has more of the definitive smirk, skinnier chin profile with the little bit of samurai added to it and then when you push it down that's what you get you get a non-articulating head because it's on this thing right here that whole feed thing there and this does articulate but uh, it doesn't do so good when you got the helmet down over it so boom there's that <laughs> let's get this guy back on the table here and Boom, it's just gonna fall over. <laughs> and boom, there we go. Anyway, there, is, there they are one last time. Now let's get on to get rid of those two guys and get on into the main event here. This guy is awesome. So we're gonna go down here at the bottom and we got the rockers there. I saw a crazy ball there at the bottom going up the leg. You got that wheel knee joint there and you got the actual true knee there. And it can go all the way back up and even do some more due to transformation. So there's all that there. And then you can go back that far. You can go forward that far. And you can get all the way around at the waist, which that is always something I love to see. And I didn't learn a lesson from the wrist. No wrist articulation. You just got a hinge there due to transformation, which is so highly aggravating. This should have been another thing because he's a ninja. And he's got throwing stars, and a, this hand can grip, but this hand has got a five millimeter peg, so you can only grip one throwing star at a time. I do like the painted detail there at the waist, and then the arms go all the way around. Can go out that far to the side, has upper bicep swivel, it's got that much articulation in the elbow, and like I said, that wrist really is disappointing. And I don't, I don't get why this is a thing. Other than that, uh, the head can go way up like this to get those other awesome poses. It can go all the way around. It's on a ball there. And I like how the back of his head has the details for his motorcycle mode. So with all that said and done, let's get this guy transformed to where he can roll out in three, two, one, and... And there is Animated Prowl, Legacy Evolution, Animated Prowl on the turntable looking most excellent from this point of view. Uh, like how it looks just like it does on the box art. I'm gonna go ahead and swing this thing around here and let you take a look at the sides and the back. And uh, yeah, this guy turned out pretty good. Uh, if you like the Animated Prowl, and, and it's, I know this is ain't for, is not for everybody, but this is like scratching a sweet spot there as I've always wanted a more articulated version of this and we do got him finally here in front of us. A little bit of gappiness there. Imagine a third party or somebody will make something to fill in that gap there. And maybe those little slippers there, but outside of that, it's pretty solid where it's not, you can see clear through to my finger right there on the back. And maybe I got something mistransformed, but I looked at the stuff a couple of different times and that's how it's supposed to be I like that frontal view. And that's the uncool thing about this guy's asymmetry there and the asymmetry there with the wheel and stuff. It still spins pretty independently and freely, 
but you will have issues and or you have one side looking top notch and the other not so top notch uh, and my little thing just keeps on wanting to spread wide open right there with the throwing stars there's hubs there it goes again so there is those issues there and boom oh well let's uh get some comparisons going on next there is legacy evolution with the animated prowl and you can see how they fare there it's kind of crazy how it opens on the same side there and got the same kind of hub thing going on back there in the back boom so that's how they look and with the last one the ever so straight upness of the samurai prowl with the sidecar and how they all look with that's just a little bit annoying that it's got the lighter blue and not the clear plastic, but I mean, it is what it is. Figures from 2008 uh, that are very show accurate and not a whole lot of difference there. If you take off the side car, you still got a kickstand down here that you can prop them up and do the kickstand thing, but there they are on the turntable all together and how that works out. So it doesn't look like there's any other holes or attachments that could go on that, that newer guy, but it's crazy how in the bike mode it kind of buffs up kind of as big as the other two. It's just ever so a bit slightly smaller there, but uh, that's about going to do it for Legacy Evolution. Some final thoughts if you're a fan, this is a no-brainer. You're going to want to pick this up. I like that it's got better articulation minus the wrist swivel. and. The paintwork is way, way superior compared to this old stuff. Oh, the old stuff had good paint jobs. Can't take that away from it. This has more of a detail, a Cybertronian detail for the Samurai mode. This, These two are clear. And I like how the inside of the bike there, you have the instrumentation and it's on the back of his head there to do with the way this new guy does, but give it a more G1 aesthetic. It feels like a, mix, a happy mix of both. Like I said, highly recommended for those that are fans. It's a no-brainer. Pick it up uh, and or I uh, hope you got your pre-orders in because they are shipping like crazy right now. Let's uh, want to thank everybody again uh, for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so very, very kindly. Uh, got this in from Amazon, like I said, and then I got the crash bar that I, you hadn't seen the review for, or I should have it by the time that I get this one done. Crash bar and then another motorcycle and animated prowl from this latest evolution legacy evolution series all that said and done thank you again to all those that have subscribed and thanks again for amazon shipping always so quickly until all are one guys have a great week out there